friends. I'm so excited to talk to you today about the Grow Message Builder. This is a tool that we've had around for a while and people love it, but we wanted to give you a quick refresh in case there are features you don't know about or you're new to Grow and this is your first time using the Message Builder. So let's take a look. You'll see right off the bat that you have your Message Builder library. So if you are a subscriber to Grow, you will see all of the volumes that you are subscribed to for kids, students, or groups and all of this series right here in your library. You can see each different series has different weeks, and if you change the week, it changes the sermon. If you just wanna take a peek at the sermon, you can do the view, or if you want to edit the sermon for your own, you can hit duplicate, and this will allow you to edit it. So we'll look at it in the edit view. Here we are in the edit view, and there is so much that you can do with the message builder. We really think that this tool will help you become a better communicator because you can make the talks your own, you can edit them however you want. We have made it so easy for you to do that. You'll see here in the center, we have our grow message as it has been written. And then on the right, you have different building blocks. These are different um, elements for your talk that you can put into your um, message. You'll see throughout the message, we have these different elements built in. We have activity, discussion, questions, story, all of these different things. But the great thing about the message builder is that you can totally edit it to be exactly what you want your message to be. So if you want to start off your message with an image, you can drag and drop, drag your image here. If you wanna put in a little description of what your image is going to be, let's say you are going to talk about science. So you have a picture of a molecule. And then if you wanna add a description here, you can. Obviously you do not need to. Drop your image there and it's right there, first thing. Now, if you don't wanna see all of the description, you can close up the box, you can open it up again. If you decide, no, I don't want it open with this image, you can delete it really easily as well. And you're back to where you started. Even the elements that we have put in for you for how Grow has written each message, you can go in and edit it so Maybe you don't want to say this last bullet point, so you want to delete that. Um, or if you're like, I want to start with this activity instead of the DIY elephant toothpaste, you can move these around. Everything is drag and drop, so it's so easy to customize. You can turn a little um, section off. If you maybe aren't sure, you don't want to delete it, so you're just going to turn it off. It'll gray it out. And if you decide, yes, I do want to use it, you can turn it back on. You can duplicate sections. Again, you can collapse all of these. So if you only want to see the headings of all of these, you can do that as well. It is super, super customizable. You'll also see down here we have the sections, the headers, big idea, all of that. So if you want to put in your own um, big idea or a new section, new header, you can totally do that as well. Because again, the they will come standard as they've been written by Grow, but we think that it is such an amazing tool for you to be able to customize your lesson exactly how you want it to be for your audience. Since we all have different audiences, you know your audience best. You'll see within the description, if you want to bold different things, you can do that or underline, you can do bullets, all of the different wonderful font editing things as well. Now, really cool thing is in the teach mode, so if you wanna use the message builder to teach from, we've stripped away all of the editing features so you don't accidentally delete a sentence or a section while you're teaching, but you can go through and see it. Or if you want to just collapse these, you wanna use it more like an outline, you can collapse all the sections and just see the headers. But while you're teaching, if you're like, oh, what was I gonna say about this question? You can open it up right there real easily and see what it is. So that is the teaching view, super easy. Let's go back. You'll also see all of your builds get saved in user builds and then you can make other folders. So if you want to or save them, arrange them in different ways, 
you can do that as well. You can print from here and you can choose if you want a spaced out or if you want tight formatting to save paper, you can do that as well. You can export to a PDF. So if you're gonna send this out to volunteers or other people, you can easily export it to a PDF and send it out that way. And then there's always a little save button. And if while you're editing, you wanna create different restore points, you're like, I know that this is a point that I want to save it at, but I might wanna come back to this. You can create a restore point so you can really easily go back to that restore point. If you keep tweaking and editing and maybe you weren't happy with it, you wanna go back to that restore point. You can do that as well. We think the message builder is such an amazing tool and we think it will help kids and youth pastors just elevate their communication in huge, huge ways. And we are so excited about it. You'll see all of your wonderful builds here. And if you wanna just start from scratch, you can do that. So it doesn't have to be a grow message. You can really use the grow message builder for anything. So you'll see when you start from scratch, you are putting in all of your own information. So even if you just have a parent meeting or something that you want to have a, a message and outline in front of you, you can do that super easy in the Grow Message Builder as well. We hope that you are as excited about this tool as we are, and we cannot wait to continue to hear how much you guys love it.